There goes our boat. See you later. Don't go float away. Bye. We're up, we're up on board Captain what's John's up? boat right here. Eagle 2. Eagle 2. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, you guys? Jeff and I are out here on the water today. We've got a uh, boat Eagle 2. We've got Jeff and I out here on the water uh, with our buddy John and EJ. We are going to be doing John and EJ right behind us. Awesome. What's up? <laughs> we're going to be doing a catch and cook today, but this is a a really, special catch and cook. Really unique catch and cook because we are going to be serving the homeless with all the fish that we catch. So super pumped to get out here, catch some Spanish mackerel. That's, That's the right. targeted species today. Yeah, so you guys ask us a lot to do catch and cooks. And today we're out here, we've got the trolling set up right here. We've got two rods. And uh, so Christy here is going to be, Christy and EJ are going to be getting their workout. Uh, Captain John's probably going to be on the uh, wheel. And today the focus is Spanish mackerel. We're just going to fill the boat, fill the cooler. Every fish that we catch, we are going to cook it up and we're going to make some homeless person's day. You know, just spreading a little bit of fish stoke out here today. So that's what we're doing. We're going to fill the coolers and I think we got a fish on. All right, you guys, so stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna fill the cooler. We're gonna get a lot of fish. Our goal is like, we can get like 40 fish because the limit is 15 per person. So we get like four, like two or three fillets for each Spanish, multiply that times 40. That's a lot of meals. So hopefully today we're gonna be feeding a lot of people with some quality fish. mackerel but we were getting on them guys right that's awesome yeah. it's a good day out here yeah, good day. all right everybody welcome to the anderson household without oh. further ado here's my husband the man of the hour wow that cooler <laughs> hold on i need a minute he needs a minute you guys do you know what, like when you stand up too fast and all the like blood goes to your head and then you feel like you're just gonna like fall over and pass out uh -huh, that's how you feel yeah, it's pretty much all. All right, y'all. So check this out. So this is actually um, just a fraction of what we call. Actually, shout out to our buddy John and EJ for helping us out with this um, little challenge here of feeding tons of homeless people with Spanish mackerel. So they actually filleted 
uh, about 20 fish that um, we were able to catch. And so this is the rest of them. Look at this. This is what Christy caught. So these are all the Spanish mackerel sitting on ice. So we are gonna go ahead and fillet these. That's, that's a good size one right there. So this right here is probably gonna be about uh, between 50, maybe 70 fillets is a rough estimate. And that's a lot of people that we are going to feed. you guys here we are it is day three of this video this is the most important day hey what's happening you guys um, if you guys can hear that sound that is the water running because we've got not three we've got five bags of fillets you guys I'm pretty sure we have upwards of like a hundred fillets that we, uh, we got, got from lot. all of these Spanish mackerel check this out we're gonna show you guys real quick <laughs> so we've got this right here look at this bag right here is every bit of five pounds of fish that's just stacked with fish. So we've got one, two, three bags in here that we are thawing out. And then we are having to actually utilize our bathroom. And we have, what is it? Two more bags. So right now we are de-thawing and Christy <laughs> is about to get her cook on. So check it out. We also have some potato chips. We are going with salt and vinegar, potato chips, and we've got original, uh, we've got a few more different ones there, and dang it, I think, oh, here we go, okay, and we've got brown, so we're going to be using these brown paper bags, Yep. and Ziploc bags, fish are going to go in those, don't worry, also, <laughs> I used to be a former general manager of a restaurant, so I am um, serve safe certified, and what that means is <laughs> I know how to handle food safely. So, rest assured, people, we are going to be handling our food very safely today. So today's catch and cook is going to be uh, fish and chips, something simple. Uh, so we are cooking up the Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel is one of the best tasting fish. I love Spanish mackerel. I think I like Spanish mackerel more than flounder. Oh, that looks so good. is so tasty. Look at all that fish. Look at that. Sweet. fish and chips you guys we're so excited now it's time to hit the streets all right y'all so this is where it gets interesting we have our fish and chips behind us christy's driving and i'm going to be filming and distributing uh these meals that we have just crafted probably not prefer to have christy uh handing some of these meals out in some of the not so nice parts of town but uh we're just gonna kind of drive around uh, we've got a few places um, that we have in mind uh, where we feel like that there'll be some people in need that we're gonna uh, <clears throat> just you know kind of hand out uh, some of these uh, meals that we have here so this is so this right here is where it gets interesting because our objective now is to find people who uh, are desperately in need of food or you know homeless that type of stuff so that's kind of what we're doing right now. Uh, we're kind of on a wild goose chase. And the time <laughs> is five o'clock. It's um, dinner time and hopefully we'll see some people. Hopefully um, we'll get to distribute all these. If not, then there's gonna be a few lucky people who are gonna have a lot more food than they know what to do with. Jeff and I just got to spot number one to hopefully deliver some awesome meals and it just started pouring out, which 
put a little wrench in our plans because that means everybody is finding shelter um, and somewhere to kind of hide out. But we actually just found a group of like, how many guys are over there? There's like 15 people just underneath uh, the shade. So Jeff back there. All right. There's like 15 people. <laughs> I'm gonna take the whole thing. All right, cool. Jeff's gonna be going to feed everybody. I don't wanna be awkward to bring out uh, the camera, but just wanted to just show you guys my amazing husband back there delivering some meals to all these people who are it's like 20. Yeah, 20 people right now, which is really cool. My husband is over there. That's Jeff, and he is just giving out meals to everybody. Way to go, babe. We just fed probably 25 people right there. That's pretty awesome. All right, we just drove into another parking lot. Um, it's raining a little bit, so everybody's kind of underneath uh, shelter. So kind of the prime spots that we've been kind of trying to go to to find people are um, like shopping plazas and outside grocery stores where there's like an overhang. There he is, somewhere. We almost go. Woo! <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Less than an hour. And we just have hit one spot. One small spot of our city. Well, we don't live in a city, but one small spot of our community. Y'all, quick update. So, Christy is driving, and we are driving out of the rain. So, as you can see, we are about only a quarter. We only have about a quarter of our meals left of our fresh cooked Spanish mackerel left. So this is actually really cool. You know, this is something that Christy and I, we just kind of had a random idea and our buddy John and his buddy EJ really helped us out and they like really supported us. And so I just would like to preface that Christy and I are in no way trying to just like toot our own horns here by doing this. We're just really kind of showing you guys that you know, we just kind of had this like random sporadic idea and we actually called some homeless shelters and they turned us down because kind of rightfully so because they don't want to serve fish because they're not like want to be liable for food allergies. So there was kind of like a minute there where Christy and I were like debating whether we should even do this. Um, but we just kind of, our buddy John, shout out to John, who really like kind of pushed us. He's like, no dude, that's like such a good idea. Y'all should just do it. So we just cooked up all this fish this afternoon and so far it's going really well. We just drove, as you can see this like rainstorm behind us, that's like at the ocean front. So there's like two homeless shelters. We went, instead of going inside the homeless shelter, we actually went like kind of right around the homeless shelter and kind of some of these like shopping centers that have like covered areas. There was just like 20 to 30 homeless people sitting underneath them. So it was pretty awesome just to show up and I was like, do you guys want some like fresh cooked fish? And they all were like, yeah. So that was really, really awesome. And again, just want to preface that Christy and I, we're just showing you guys that if you guys like have an idea, just do it. You know, that's like Christy and I, that's our one fish, two fish thing is just make it happen. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We're just had this random idea. Hopefully y'all like it. Um, and we're just kind of showing you guys, you know, sometimes it's all about spreading a little bit of fish stoke. A little I think we're we're heading towards heading towards Norfolk. Cause there's a few more homeless shelters over there, and we are out of the rain. Uh, so hopefully there'll be a little bit. Hopefully there'll be some more people kind of out and about, and we can make solid use out of the rest of our meals right behind me. So that's the update, and hopefully we'll get these things handed out. Yo, you want some food, man? Uh, you want any food? I got some fresh cooked fish. No, I'm okay. You don't want it for later or anything? No, I can't even take it in the building. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. Have a good one. Did you guys see this duck crossing happening right now? Yep. There you go. Perfect. Hey, are you hungry? We just caught fresh fish just for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. Enjoy. Have a good day. You, you too. too. All right, we just got back home and I think Jeff and I made use of all of the fish that we caught and that we cooked and we pretty much distributed it to tons of different people that we met uh, and came across and we just had an awesome time, so babe, that's that was pretty great. sweet. <laughs> yeah, that pound was horrible, but this was a really awesome <laughs> uh, thing that uh, Christy and I got to experience tonight. So we really didn't know what to expect and we really had second thoughts even doing this, but I'm glad that we did. Uh, our thing is make it happen and if you don't think you can, y'all can make it happen too. That's right.